It has been one of the most crazy scenes we've ever seen in the NFL as this Philadelphia Eagles team was 10 and 1, flying high, and everybody's number one bet to go back to the Super Bowl and have the best chance to win it this year. Since then, the Eagles are now 11 and 6 and just rolling downhill and it and it doesn't even look like it's going to stop anytime soon. In this video, we are diving into the top five reasons for the epic collapse of the Philadelphia Eagles. Before we get into those five reasons, guys, if you would like this video, it always helps it out. And subscribe, join this team, join this community, and help us grow. Let's get right into it. I think one of the number one reasons is the coordinators. So... Whenever you have a really good team and you have great success, it will come with a price. Those coordinators are always going to be hot commodity. And like I say, that's a blessing and a curse. It's just a part of the business when you have so much success. And as far as this year is concerned, it looks like Brian Johnson and Sean Desai were just the wrong hires. And the deeper into the season the Eagles got, the more shortcomings became apparent. And the more opposing teams were able to really get after the Philadelphia Eagles. Shane Steichen is a play-calling genius, and Jonathan Gannon knows his defense. Johnson and Desai both had their moments early in the season, but it just has not been the case later in the year. Jalen Hurts has regressed majorly, and this defense is now one of the worst in the NFL. The number four reason to me has to be both the Cowboys and the 49ers game. Those back-to-back -back blowout losses in December, 42-19 to to the 49ers and 33-13 to to the Cowboys, to me has just demoralized this team. Before that stretch, I believe the Eagles thought that they were the best team in the NFL, and I think most people thought that they were the best team in the NFL. It seemed like the Eagles mentally never recovered from getting destroyed in those two games, and they saw as their biggest competition for the number one seed. No team in NFL history had lost consecutive games by 20 or more points after winning 10 games. It's breaking NFL records, but not in the right way. Those were non-competitive losses, and the Eagles couldn't handle them, and they have not been able to bounce back. The number three reasons for the epic collapse for the Philadelphia Eagles is simply the defense is not doing what they've done best. The defense that generated 70 sacks last year, which was third most in the history of the NFL, suddenly has completely been unable to generate any pass rush. Eagles edge rushers had 38 sacks last year, and those edge rushers got started off on the right foot this year as they had... 16 through the first nine games, but since then, all they've had is four and a half sacks in the last eight. The edge rushers who were just giving offenses around the league last year uh, just are not getting it done through this last bit of stretch in the NFL. They had some success early in the year, but they are simply not getting to the quarterback, and teams are being able to have time and pick them apart. And that's just not it about the defense, but we'll wait to number one to get to that. The number two reason is simply Jalen Hurts and Jordan Davis have just disappeared. Neither young Georgia interior lineman was able to maintain its high-level play, what they were doing in the first half of the season. Jordan Davis, in particular, seemed to drop off a cliff. Two and a half sacks, two tackles for a loss, five quarterbacks hits, and a forced fumble through seven games, and then no sacks, no tackles for loss, no quarterback hits, and no other big plays after the Miami game. Jalen Hurts was off to a great start this year, but now has turned the ball over more than anybody in the NFL down in this last stretch. It, it's almost like he's lost all the confidence in the world, and it's affected the whole rest of the team. A.J. Brown at one point was a person who people were talking about could win the NFL MVP, and then I think it's like since week 10, he hasn't had a receiving game where over 100 yards. It is just a total, total mess. Number one reason for this epic collapse for the Philadelphia Eagles is they simply cannot stop the run. The Eagles were number one in the entire NFL versus the run through week 10 at 66 yards allowed per game. 
Then number 31 the rest of the year at 145 clips per game. They went from number one rush defense to number 31. Best to basically the worst. There's only one other team worse in the NFL. They allowed at least 100 rushing yards in their last eight games for only the third time since 1970. When you or all of a sudden cannot run the ball and you cannot stop the ball, those are huge, massive recipes for just disaster. And, you know, there are Eagles fans who are completely losing their minds right now. They want head coach Nick Sarani out. And, man, I, I don't – I don't. Man, that's tough. He just took them to the Super Bowl. But, man, this is Philly. This is Philly, Philadelphia, and things – are not taken lightly there, and it is just a mess. The big question is, can the Eagles overcome this? Can they be able to right the ship? Now you've got an A.J. Brown injury. You've got Jalen Hurts breaking his finger. It's just whatever could go wrong has went wrong for the deal for the Philadelphia Eagles, and they went all in, and they are trying to win it now, and it is going the complete opposite way. So, let me know what you guys think about this total collapse of a job, coaching, playing. Who lays at the fault? Is this owner, general manager, head coach? Is this certain players' fault? Is Jalen Hurts one of the most overrated quarterbacks, or is he just going through a bad stretch? Have they made terrible free agent deals or terrible trades? Uh is this the just all on the defense? Is the defense absolutely atrocious? And or is this, you know, it, it does it have everything to do with the coordinators? You know, that's part of it. When you are winning at a certain clip in the NFL, you're going to lose your coordinators, and it's not easy to replace them with guys who are ready or guys who relate to to these players and, and just get the results. So there's a lot of blame that could go on. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments section below. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Please like this video. Always helps get out there to a larger audience. Subscribe, join this team, join this community, help it grow. If you like everything and all things football, this is the channel for you. And please, as always, stay humble, stay kind. Peace.